Okay team, we are back. Let's level this out. With another clothing haul curry. It's got a little ring to it. Oh, I'm in the dark, but we're just gonna have to roll with it because well, that's all we got to work with. We're running out of daylight. Uh, it's been a minute since we've done a clothing haul. Uh, we've done many uh, Boohoo Man clothing hauls on this channel, and you guys seem to love them. So we're back with another one. Black Friday is just around the corner, so it's probably a good time to do one in case anyone wants to do Black Friday shopping or also Christmas shopping, brothers, whatever it may be. So we've got a fairly big haul today. What was it? Totaled at uh, 142 quid. 146 quid, including delivery. Uh, over. For over 70 pounds worth of discounts as well. There's always loads of discounts on Boohoo, hidden discounts. If you have that app, the app or whatever it is, Honey, installed on your phone, whatever it is, laptop, that will always pull automatic discounts. And I thought I was going to get like 30 quid off, managed to get like 70. So a win win. Anyway, let's go through this haul. Remember, if you enjoy this going haul, smash that like button, hit subscribe. We're going to pull up some fits to the side uh, and go through them one by one. So first of all, we should start, she started with this plain white tee. Really, really happy with this. It's just an oversized extended neck. So it did say extended neck in uh, the title. And that's something I like. You can see that it's got a nice thick collar and it's actually quite high. Nothing worse than a tee with a baggy, thin, crappy neck. Uh, size large. As you can see, it is fairly, let me shuffle this space. I've got enough space. It is fairly oversized. In fact, probably a little bit too oversized for my liking in terms of length. Body, long arms, love the length. If I even pull my hands up, it doesn't show you gut, which is important, especially if you're carrying a little bit of timber around the middle. Um, but a very nice fit. This is one of those tees that will probably be like an undershirt tee for a couple of wears. Boohoo Man, I think in terms of quality, we know it's not the best, uh, really, really cheap and reasonable. Um, after a few washes, the quality starts to deteriorate. They do shrink a little bit. They're not just gonna be great, amazing t-shirts. But that's what happens when you pay £7.56. Uh, this will probably turn into a gym t-shirt for me after maybe five or six wears. Nice, comfortable, oversized. Fingers crossed it holds out, but a very nice, good start. £7.56, winner. All of these uh, barcodes or whatever, the ca caption will be walloped up as well. AP, see I've got that in there. Uh, that you'll see those as well. Right, after that we started to build on the fit and we put on this long sleeve overshirt. Well, yeah, check overshirt in a navy cream colorway. We're going to New York in T minus two weeks. So I wanted to get some fits for New York. So I was trying to pan whole outfits also so you could buy a full fit together. I was impressed with this overshirt. It seems like half decent quality, quite thick, very, very comfortable. In New York, it's gonna be cold. I would wear it with a hoodie underneath. I did that with an overshirt in a few clips time. This one seems a lot tighter than the other one, and I think I would struggle to wear this with a shirt underneath. Uh, by the way, large in pretty much everything upper body, uh, and I'm just knocking on the door of six foot and, uh, and 80 kilos, in case you're wondering. But really nice colors. I wear a black and white checkered overshirt that I got from H&M. No, I got that from a River Island, and I wear it everywhere. You'll see in a lot of the grand picks. So I wanted to get some more. I think these flannel checkered shirts are banging at the minute. So uh, 17, 17 quid. Quite that's good, isn't it? 17.64. Happy with that. This was one of those hauls as well. The more and more I put on, I was like, crap, I'm going to keep most of this. And I probably shouldn't. What do we do? We paired that with a pair of cargo pants, beige cargo pants. And I put these on and absolutely loved the fit. They were actually super tight. What size are these? Small. Your boy has probably skipped too many leg days in his time and that's why you're rocking small. Large on top and small in the middle. It's probably uh, not ideal, but that's, uh, that's what I'm wearing. They were mega tight though. They were super tight around the middle. Absolutely love the material. They're thin, they're comfortable. The deep pockets, enjoyed like, like that. The one thing that I didn't like about the whole thing it's the pockets on the front, and obviously that's a, the staple that is what makes them a cargo pan. But I wish I just had these in like a chino, and without the pockets on the front, I thought the fit, I put some Air Force Ones on, nice baggy all the way through. Uh, what was the price on these? Straight leg cargo travellers, uh, 19 quid, or 18 pound 90, so that's so decent. But I'm probably not gonna keep these because 
of the shiny pockets. I just, just didn't really like how that looked on. What I will try and do is I'll try and pick up these exact same again in chinos or cargo or whatever, just without the pockets. We'll try and find a pair because they were comfortable. I think they look really, really cool. You could match it up with loads. And like I say, I put that on with that um, navy checker shirt and it looked banging. Once again, we're on that New York theme, we're on the travel theme. So I wanted to piece another outfit together. We bought a full tracksuit. Like you saw there, large one up top and a small one to me, uh, small on the bottoms. That doesn't work in tracksuits. When you buy a tracksuit online or from Boohoo, you have to buy it's a twin set and you have to buy all the same size. So I had to meet in the middle and I bought a medium. This, I actually just bought a really nice New Balance tracksuit to wear instead of this, uh, which you'll see in the video before or the video after. But for me, I wanted to pick a tracksuit. None of them really, really took my fancy. Uh, I like this sort of off-white colour. I thought, thought, I think it's really, really cool. Hoodie, just this for me is one of the, the where they're lacking again in Boohoo Man. The materials not great. Just you can just tell it's cheap, bad quality. It's not going to last very long. Uh, for the pattern on this was kind of cool. Plain on the front, big uh, pattern on the back. Same with the trouser, but. It's just, these look like pyjama bottoms, didn't they? They were just no good. Super straight leg. The cuff of the bottom wasn't very tight. That was a no-go. What was the price on that? So like I said, I had to get a medium. Ideally, I'd get a large in the hoodie and a small in the trousers. 25 quid. It's not amazing. It's not awful. I could see myself rocking this hoodie on its own. Well, actually, I continue to wear this hoodie. I could see myself rocking a hoodie, but I would never buy it as a twin set. The trackies really, really let it down there. That was a no-go. That's getting in our bin. Tapered fit rig jean. I've got a pair of jeans from one pair of jeans from Boohoo Man, and they're starting to deteriorate now. I've probably had them for six months. They've lasted me quite well, but they're they're sort of going out. They just started to not be as well fitted as nice. So I really, really like the image on uh, this picture. It makes the jean look really, really cool. Tapered fit just sort of slits straight in. I had them on with my Jordan 1 and personally, because they're a tapered jean and they're a bit of a cropped jean, I wouldn't really wear them with that. I probably should have put them on with my Air Force ones. But I wouldn't mad on these. I'm pretty sure, well I ordered a 34. Your boy's not 34 anymore, so that's, that's a good sign. But these were really, really big for me. Just meh. I think they look half decent. You could definitely wear them with a few fits, but doesn't scream out like these are really really sick. Having said that, that's a kid. Oh shit. £15.75. But that's interesting. That's just popped off. I don't know where it's popped off from. It must be one of these front pockets or something. Yeah. No? Dunno. But I mean that's not ideal, is it? The fact that it's already popped off. Don't know if it was meant to be a spare. We'll put that in the pocket and we'll send it back. But quite cool, I'd probably need a 32 in that, to be honest. Right, we kept them on, we kept this tee on throughout, and then I actually left that cream jumper on, like I said, because I wanted to buy shirts that would wear over a hoodie. And we come to this one. Let's call this the right colours, because otherwise I'll get it wrong. Oh, it doesn't say what colour it is. I guess it's brown, I guess it's tan, I guess it's a little bit beige. Do you know what, I'm not gonna lie, when I first pulled this out, it did remind me of a blanket that me and mum used to have. When we used to have picnics on the beach, it reminded me a bit like that. But I like it. I, think, I thought it was quite cool, it's different. Uh, chest pockets on either side. I had a hoodie on and it fitted really, really nicely. And I could see me rocking this in New York. I, I like it, it feels really, really nice. Price on this one was 20 pounds, so a little bit more expensive than a navy one but the quality does feel better. It feels thicker, it feels heavier. I'm not sure why that is, because they're both just checkered over shirts, so you'd think that it would be consistent throughout, but, but it's not. Plastic buttons. What do we think of this? I mean, I've only actually recorded the footage and had a little playback looking through the camera, so I haven't actually pulled it up in big. Um, but when I put it on, I quite liked it. I thought it was quite cool. Nice color, it's a little bit different. Uh, getting in sort of the autumnal vibes. And for 20 quid, once again, you're laughing. Right, the final thing. These are a no-go immediately. These even felt funny. Do you know what? I thought these looked like ski salopettes. Uh, Boohoo Man 
What we got here? Multi pocket cargo pants, relaxed fit. Cool, I could fit my head in this foothold at the end. Uh, yeah, they're just all wrong. I mean, you got zippy pockets, which is half decent, but no good. As you could tell, I was probably a bit trigger happy when I was doing a clothing haul. But, nah, yeah, no good. Way, really, my skinny legs just looked awful in these. These look like a couple of tents. Yeah, not for me. I quite like the colour. They look a lot better on in that bloke. But I suppose you don't ever really look at that picture that's doing that. I've got the picture up here and I didn't really look. This was a small and these were like tents. Do you know what I mean? Like That small compared to that small is a totally different fit. I mean, this is relaxed fit on the blues. The ones before says straight leg. So if that's anything to go off, I need to up for the straight leg a bit more, not the relaxed fit. Oh, the only thing I would add it's a feature that I really, really like is they have the drawstring at the bottom. I mean, it doesn't work so much because they were so baggy, it just cuffed over. But I've got a pair of cargoes on now. And you see, these are really, really in. You pull the drawstring across and it just makes the whole, can you see that? The fit look totally different. So yeah, these are, these are actually sick. I got these in H&M. They are in the sale, I paid £10 when I was in Brighton, I want to say. But always looking for steel. H&M is also really, really decent for men's fashion at the minute. I'm really liking H&M. So if you want to see a H&M haul, that's something I can get on board with. The final thing that we haven't actually shown you, which I missed, was just a full zippy hoodie. This zippy hoodie, I mean, is £10. You're not going to get better than £10 for a zippy hoodie. Once again, I'm not expecting mad, crazy good quality. But I quite like a full zip. I don't really have many full zip hoodies. And I thought if I could rock this with a check shirt over and have the undone zip, fits perfect. And what I'm actually gonna do with this is, oh, that's a big hood, isn't it? Is on the back, put a big RC Fitness logo, just to wear to coaching as well. But yeah, that, I like that, tenner. Yeah, that's nice. I think full zip hoodies are nice just to have a little switch up. Right, well, we got 13 minutes of RC Fitness rambling. If you've enjoyed this clothing haul, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. I'm going to have to pay, I paid 3 dollars delivery. I'm going to have to pay something to return these. Is it free returns or boohoo? should know that by now, but I don't. Um, I'd say that's a good haul. I'd say we did pretty well. I'd say we're keeping 70%. Right, anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.